Hey, my name is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the iPad screenshots template. This template allows you to quickly render and export the different screenshot sizes required for iPad apps by creating the largest size and rendering them out. Some of the highlights include quickly rendering the different screenshot sizes from a single size, that you can put your screenshot inside an iPad and add text to it, and obviously the hallmark one-click export actions of up to five separate screenshots. What you need is the files that you downloaded from applypixels.com, this folder here, which includes a PSD file, an actions ATN file, and a readme file, and a copy of Photoshop, preferably a newer Creative Cloud version. What you want to remember before we start creating screenshots is that you need to import the actions file. You do that simply by double clicking the ATN file. That will add the actions to the actions pane in Photoshop right here. We'll get back to that. Now let's create some screenshots. We open up the main PSD file, and it looks something like this. In the right side of your layers pane, you'll find the layer called Edit Me and Save, and you'll right-click that and hit Edit Content. And in here, you'll create your screenshots. I've already made room for five different screenshots in these separate folders. Please don't rename these folders and don't place any layers outside of the folders. Opening up one of the folders gives you an idea of the building blocks in here. First of all, I wanna say that you don't really need to use these things. You could just paste your screenshot in this canvas hit save and call it a day. But if you wanna have your screenshot inside an iPad and you wanna add some text, I've prepared that for you. Here's the text layer that you can change. Here's a great screenshot. Cool. And here's an iPad and you can change the colors of the iPad. There's a space gray, there's the gold version and um, there's the, the silver version. And allow me to go a little inception on you. If you want to place your screenshot inside this iPad, I've placed another nested smart object inside this nested smart object. And you enter that by right clicking and hitting edit contents again. And you can paste your screenshot in here. Let's just, for demonstration's sake, create a wonderful red screen. This is where your app or your game screenshot would, would be. You can close that up. And now you see that it has updated. It's now inside the iPad. And once you're done with this screen, you can also save that and close it. And now you see that the two sizes have been rendered out. We even have some pretty neat little preview action of, of how your screenshot will look on the App Store. Once you're done, you'll find the actions that we imported before. And here you can choose to either export a single screenshot, if that's all you've made, or export five screenshots in the case that you've actually made all the five screenshots inside the Smart Object. Since we've only made one screenshot, I'm just going to go ahead and play that first action. And if we look at the desktop, we'll find a folder called iPad Screenshot Files, and in here you have the two different sizes. Obviously, had we created five different screenshots and used the other action, we would have five individual folders with two screenshots in them each. And that is how you use the iPad screenshots template. You can get this template and a lot of other great design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. I hope this helps you shave off a little bit of that time that we all spend creating screenshots. Thanks for watching.